what is going on supreme family what is going on if you guys can see me and you guys can hear me go ahead and drop the number one if you guys can hear me and you guys can see me go ahead and drop the number one and i'm excited to go ahead and get going all right i'm seeing a lot of you guys can see me hear me all right i'm gonna go ahead and open up the comment section real quick Make sure that I can go ahead and interact with all of you guys. If this is your first time ever in a Q&A with me, also go ahead and say this is my first time so I have a better understanding of everybody who might be new here in the Supreme family. Let me know, guys. Let me know. I see Perky in the house, Arian. I see Michelle. I see Sire. Um, Supreme Ecom is in the house. If you guys do not know, that is my, uh, that's my company, my team. If you guys are having questions throughout this live Q&A and you want to go ahead and chat them out or talk about them, you guys will see Supreme Ecom in here messaging you guys back. So be on the lookout for that. Jonas, what's going on? Little Mio, say it's his first time in here. We got Kansas City in the house. I love to see it. All right, I love to see it. What's going on, everybody? We are live. It is Wednesday, June 21st at 12.02 p.m. We are officially live. We're going to go ahead and wait on a couple more people to go ahead and join in. But for everybody who's saying it's the first time in here, like Jonas and Sire and Yancey and Decast, everybody in here, I will be putting on these lives every single Wednesday, going over specific topics that you guys may be struggling with. Now, last week, we did a little bit about store design, but this week, I'm going to go way deeper, and I'm going to go in two product pages, and the apps that you need to have on your product pages activated so you could get the conversions that you're looking for. Now, all we, we all know that creatives are going to drive traffic to our store, and you can have the best product in the world. But if you do not have a great store or something like a great product page to convert people on the back end, you're never going to make the profit that you're looking for. So that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and take advantage of. Uh, Jarov said, call my name out. Hey, we're here, my boy. We are here Wednesday, June 21st, 12.03 p.m. This is not pre-recorded. This is live. And like I said, today I'll be answering any and all questions that you will be having when it comes to creating a successful, high-converting Shopify store and the product pages that are with that so that you guys can be turning everybody into real profit all right i'll be showing you guys some of the best practices some of the best apps that you should be using i'll be giving you an inside look of some of my stores and i'll even be reviewing some of your product pages so you guys are able to get the help that you deserve all right if that sounds cool with you guys go ahead and drop the number one all right i want to hear some more from everybody in here though all right if that sounds good with you guys go ahead and drop the number one but in the meantime while we're getting we're getting a couple more people in here Go ahead and let me know where you're watching from, all right? What state or what country are you watching from? I want to know from Yancey. I want to know from Durab. I want to know from Tanvir. I want to know from everyone in here where you guys are watching from. And yes, I will be reviewing some of your guys' product pages. So make sure that you are ready for this, all right? Now, also, if you guys do not know, I give out a giveaway for the people who are going to stay to the end. And what this giveaway is going to look like is you're going to get an inside look of my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. We're going to be able to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with myself and my team for absolutely free. This is a little bit of what our one-on-one -on -one mentorship looks like. We are having a couple more spots open. I'm going to drop this down below. But it's going to allow you guys to be able to get access to real help and support, okay? This is a little bit about my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. You guys can book a free discovery call with myself and my team to be able to get an inside look of your store and what ways we can be able to do to help you guys out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop that down below, or I'll have Supreme Ecom drop that link down below. But what this giveaway today is going to be is an inside look of this. So you're going to get on a free one-on-one -on -one call with myself and my team to go over your ads, your products, be able to share your screen, be on Zoom, and be able to really collaborate to help you get the guidance that you're looking for. On top of that, a 2023 success plan that is tailored for you so that by the end of this call, you know exactly what direction to be taking. And thirdly, some free Supreme Ecom merch. I'm going to give that winner out here in a little bit. I'm going to give the instructions out here in a little bit. But if you're going to stay to the very end, go ahead and drop the number one, all right? If you're going to stay uh, to the very end, go ahead and drop the number one. Now, we have a lot of things that we're going to go ahead and cover today, so I'm ready to go ahead and jump into it. Like I said, if you have not told me your state or country, let me know in the chat section. All right, and the last question I have for you guys real quick is I want you guys to go ahead and rate your experience level, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and rate your experience level and, ha and let me know from everyone in here what your experience is so I have a better understanding of everyone in here. Uh, we got David from Colorado. We got Jose from Portugal. We got uh, some South Africa in here. We got Belgium in the house, Nigeria. We got Pomona, California, New Mexico, San Francisco, Germany, Portugal, Scotland, Massachusetts. We got Louisville, uh, Kentucky. All right, we got a lot of people from all different backgrounds, so I love to see it, all right? 
Now, I think we have a good enough people in here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, I know that a lot of you guys just got in here. So just to reiterate, I do these live Q&As every single Wednesday, going over specific subjects and uh, support that you guys need. Now, the value doesn't stop there. I will be also giving out a giveaway. So be patient because I will give that instructions out here in a little bit. Now, we're about to get into the value. But like I always do every single week, I give a shout out to our student of the week, man. If you guys have not checked it out, we have a free Discord channel, okay? We have a free Discord channel. It's a public channel right here, as you guys can see, where you guys can come and be around like-minded individuals. It's absolutely free. Ask questions about job shipping. Be around other people who are succeeding. And every single week, I always highlight the student of the week. So you guys can see every week our students are succeeding. This was today at 11, 10 p.m., okay? You see every single week our students are succeeding results and results because we don't try to do this but we actually do this all right and the student of the week this week okay is a sign okay a sign congratulations on being the student of the week i'm gonna go ahead and uh, shout you out real quick i'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you all right but a sign congratulations went from four hundred dollars and having zero sales just two weeks ago to four hundred dollars in a single day with a 2.69 conversion rate okay let me zoom in on that for you guys real quick but a 2.69 conversion rate congratulations on being the student of the week i always highlight the student of the weeks in here so you guys know what is uh, capable of being done yesterday was my best day so far but last week was my best week ending off the week right around fifteen hundred dollars in sales within the first week of advertising Congratulations, all right? The Discord link is down below. It is a public channel. That's also where we offer all of our services as well, all right? So I wanted to go ahead and say congratulations, but let's go ahead and get into this, all right? So the first thing that I want you guys to understand is if you feel like you're confused about what type of store to start, go ahead and drop the number one for me right now, all right? If you're confused on what type of store to start, go ahead and drop the number one for me so I have a better understanding of everybody in here and what you're struggling with, all right? Because I want to cover some key things that when it comes to creating a successful dropshipping store, what you need to be having. So for all the people who are dropping the number one, okay, I'm seeing you guys. I'm seeing you guys in here. By the way, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Love to see, love to see it. If you're confused on what type of store to start, like Joe Flea, like Spencer, like Sire, like Brandon, all right, I want you guys to take your notebooks out right now, okay? Because it's time to take notes and really, really apply to what we are doing, all right? First thing is there's three types of stores that you can start, all right? You have a general store, you have a niche-focused store, and you have one product stores. Now, by the way, I have all of them, all right? I have all of them, as you guys can see. Here's one of my, uh, here's one of my brands that is a niche-focused brand, all right? I have general stores that I test products out all the time. I have niche-focused stores that I test products out all of the time. So I have it all, and I'm going to show it to you guys all today, okay? But this is a little bit of what it looks like, all right? Now, what I'm going to recommend that you start off with, especially if you want to have success while dropshipping, okay, is going to be a general store. Now, this is just what I advise you doing right out the gate. And like I said, if you guys have questions, you guys can go ahead and let me know in the chat section down below. And if you haven't built a store out, okay, and you want to get started, I also have a Shopify deal for you guys to help you get started while doing it on a low budget. You will see it in the link down in the description once this video is posted. I can also get my team to go ahead and post a link down in here, uh, in here for you guys. But this is allowing you guys to get started with Shopify for three months, only costing you one single dollar, no credit card required, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you guys can get hooked up with that so you guys can be able to start off with a budget, all right? But like I said, what I like doing is I like starting off with a general store. Now, how my general stores look like is they typically look like this, okay? Now, there's a couple of reasons why I want to start a general store. So one of the main reasons is that I can test out any and all products without being held down to certain types of niches, which is only going to help you test out way more efficiently, okay? So this is what my, I'm doing out the gate. All right, I like starting off with things like this so that I can test anything and everything that's working in the market. And when I'm testing out on a general store, why a lot of people don't like doing it is because they believe, hey, maybe the conversion rate's not going to hit on our stores, okay? But all my students, just so you guys know, they all start off with general stores. This is a 2.5% conversion rate, okay? The industry standard is 2%. You see 7% right here, all right? You're seeing we're doing this every single day. Even if I pull up my stores, all right, 
I'll show you guys the analytics when I when I once ran this general store. Okay, this is one of the old ones I was running a couple months ago. But you guys can see that, you know, even I'm getting 4% conversion rates. Okay, so what is the industry standard? All right, the industry standard for an e-commerce general store is 2% conversion rate or higher. And this is what your main foundation needs to be looking like. So for all the people who are like, okay, I want to get a 2% conversion rate, but I don't know how to do it. Okay, this is how you guys can do it. It's first thing you need to do is set standards. And there's going to be standards for all of this right here. So a lot of people, okay, want to know how do I get a 2% conversion rate? Like I mentioned, you have to have three standards of percentages. Okay, you need to have an add to cart percentage standard. Okay, you need to have a checkouts initiated standard and a sessions converted standard. All right, now I want to walk you through this so you guys have a better understanding of Joseph and Durav and Stojan and everybody in here, you guys are with me. Go ahead and say you are with me in your understanding because I'm going to break it all down. And I'm even going to dive into my product pages. I'm going to dive into my apps. I'm going to dive into your product pages so you guys truthfully understand how to succeed with this. And if you're with me, say you're with me because you guys know I'm going to give it all. You guys know I am going to give it all. And yes, Madison, there is five spots that are currently open. So if you want to apply for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship and get on a free call with myself and my team, to get a discovery call to understand your needs and see what ways we can be, uh, provide solutions, you guys can uh, go to apply at supremeecom.com. But you guys are with me, right? So here's the standards that I like looking for out the gate. First thing is an add to cart standard. With an add to cart standard, I like looking at anywhere between 7 and 10%. So you see how once I ended up giving the, getting this 4% standard is because I had an add to cart standard of 7 to 10%. That means that all the traffic that I'm leading to my store, I want to see 7 to 10% of people converting. All right? 7 to 10% of people converting on an add to cart basis. Meaning if I have 100 people on my store, 7 out of 10 people will actually add the product to cart. Now the next step is reach checkout. That means that from those people who reach checkout, I want to be sitting at anywhere between 4 and 7% when it comes to the people who are reaching my checkout. Again, 4 to 7%. And in sessions converted, I want to see anywhere between 2 and 4%. Now, if that makes sense to you guys and you have wrote that down, say I have wrote that down. But this is how you're able to stay with the industry standard of what a general store should be looking like. So if you wrote that down, go ahead and drop the number one because I want to break down now, more importantly, how you guys can be having your general store set up. All right? So with your general store, I want to see some number ones. I want to see number ones because, again, if you want me to review your store, Barbara and Moo Shop and, you know, Perky and everybody in here, if you want me to review your stores, I will do it. But I'm never going to not give information and knowledge first because knowledge is power. And for you to be able to understand what to implement, you have to have knowledge on the front end to know what to be able to take the direction towards. So if you believe that knowledge is power, say yes for me in the chat section right now. All right. If you believe knowledge is power, go ahead and say yes for me in the chat section. And by the way, if you want to watch this video afterwards, smash that like button down below because once this video reaches 200 likes, you're going to be able to watch it afterwards, and I'm also going to give out another giveaway winner. All right? So with my general store, okay, the first thing I'm doing, okay, the setup of it is always highlighting seasons and trends, okay? And the seasons and trends that I'm highlighting are now seasons and trends, which means that now there is demand behind it. So David, Mushap, Yancey, Impress, Sire, Kangaya, what seasons and trends do you believe that you should have on your store right now? I want you guys to type it in the chat section right now. And I don't want this to be based off of opinions at all. I want this to be strictly based off of data. So you come over here to Google Trends, okay? I want this to be strictly based off of data. I want you guys to tell me right now, what seasons and trends, the now seasons and trends, do you believe that you should be having on your store? I want to know. Millette is saying summer. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Autumn. 
It doesn't matter what type of industry that you sell. I don't care if you sell pet products. I don't care if you sell, I don't care what you sell, okay? Because guess what? When you go to walmart.com, I'll do it right now in front of you guys. Just to prove it. When you go to walmart.com, for all the people who are typing in the chat section right now, is saying, yeah, I sell, I, sell health pro oh, I sell health products. I don't need to do this. Or I sell education products. I don't need to do this. What are they doing? What seasons and trends are you seeing that they are putting their focus into? Patios and outsides and red, white, and blue and 4th of July and outdoor things, right? The same efforts that these people and these big brands are putting in are the same efforts that you need to be putting into. So if I was you, let me go ahead and answer the question for you. I would either make my store around post like end of summer sale happening. Why end of summer? Because you guys can see, okay, that end of summer is basically happening right now. I would either do something like 4th of July sale, so early 4th of July sale because you guys understand that this season and trend that's about to happen, okay? Or you guys could even do something like this. I just gave you three of them. If this makes sense, drop the number one for me right now. Okay, you guys could even do outdoor. So when I'm building my store out, that's what I'm basing myself off of. Either I'm going to go 4th of July or I'm going to go into summer or I'm going to go back to school or I'm going to go outdoor, patio sale, whatever the case may be. Okay, that's the first approach. And again, I want to repeat this again. I'm going to be reviewing your stores in about 20 minutes. So if you want your store reviewed, you might want to stay all the way to the end. But I'm not going to review your store if I don't give you the information first. All right? So, first thing I'm going to do is highlight the now seasons. When I say now seasons, I mean seasons that now are happening. <laughs> now there is demand, right? Then I'm going to find and, and create my store around that, right? So, I'm going to do like 4th of July sale. Welcome to our store. Here's this, this store is great for people looking for a great end of summer sale or whatever the case may be, right? Down to a mission statement, down to your main feature product, okay? Down to a collection of products that go with that season and trend, all right, this is the layout of what your store should be looking like. All right, this is the steps. And now I'm going to go ahead and go and ask you guys, do you believe that you truthfully understand what a strong product page looks like? One for yes, two for no. Okay, do you honestly understand what a strong product page looks like? One for yes, two for no. Because I want to know. All right, I want to know from everybody in here because I'm going to show you guys one. I'm going to show you guys one. If you truthfully want to see it, I'm going to give it all. Okay? Now look. When I build my stores out, there's simple ways that I like doing it, and I want you guys to write these things down, okay? Write this down and say, I have wrote this down. The number one thing I'm trying to do the number one thing that I am trying to accomplish is I am trying to solve a problem for the consumer, announce the problem that they have, make them feel like I know the problem that they have, and give a solution based off of it. So that they don't feel like they just want the product, but they need the product. Are you with me? I want to repeat that again. My number one job as a marketer for the products that I'm selling is to make them feel like they don't just want the product, but they need the product by the solutions that I'm providing with my product description. Andrea, what is good? Darav, are you with me? Adrian, okay? Everyone in here, let's break it down. That's the main thing that I'm trying to do. So when I'm building out my store, there's a couple things that I like doing first off, okay? First thing I like having is high quality, high professional images. That's the first step, okay? High quality, high professional images. If you guys don't know where to get high professional images, you guys can go anywhere that you guys want, okay? You guys can go to AliExpress and take images from that. You can go reach out to suppliers and ask for images there. You can find non-copyrighted images that are right on the internet. You can find things that off of like, let's say, pixels.com. If you guys haven't heard of pixels, okay, this gives you non-copyrighted um, material that you can be able to use for the products that you're selling. All right? 
And look, I'm doing this on every product description that I have. All right? I'm going to pull it up for you guys right now. Look at these images, okay? You see these images are not pixelated images. You see that these images are showing and doing what I need them to be doing, which is being high quality, okay? And this is on every single one of my pages. Look, all of these are high quality images, every single one of them. When I go to any one of my brands, every single image is high quality. This is what you guys should be doing as well. So look, every one of them. That's step one. Okay, step two is I like naming my product. I want you guys to write this down. Second step, naming my product. I'm not going to just sell a sand beach mat. I'm going to give myself that customizable feel so that I can stand out from my competition. Okay? So I can stand out from my competition. I'm not going to name it Sand Free Beach Mat. I'm going to name it. All right? Now, the next thing I'm going to have on my store is a selling price and a compare price. Why would I do that? Because why would the banner of my store say something like this? Okay, spring sale, 50% off plus free shipping. And I'm not highlighting those seasons and trends and deals by, from those seasons and trends on my product page. Does that make sense? One for yes, two for no. You want to always have a compare price to the products that you're selling. And yes, I'm going to get into the apps that I'm using that I'm upselling with. All right. Now, the next thing is that there should never be a time where I can click on a variant and it doesn't specifically take me to the variant. You should have variant images for every single one of the variants that you're putting out. If I click on pink, it takes me to pink. If I click on olive green, it takes me to olive green. All right. Now, before I get into the apps, this is the one thing I want you guys to really understand because I'm going to tell you guys straight up, straight up, if you are not doing this, you're going to fail on every product. The number one thing that you need to do is start every product description like, okay, how every one of your product descriptions should be is you are highlighting the main issue that somebody's having out the gate. Step one. You're following that up with a body of text that's giving a solution with the product that you're selling. Step three is a GIF or image that is basically highlighting what is currently happening with what you're putting in text. And the reason why behind this is because Sarah and Brandon and T-Mac and Durov and TW and Arian and Stojan, there's two types of buyers that come to your store. Okay, one is a visual buyer and one is a reading buyer. Some people want to read the features and benefits. Some people want to see the features and benefits. So again, that's how I start off with every one of my product descriptions. Do you love this, but you can't stand this? Is this a problem that you're having? I'm telling you straight up, why are you having this problem? Are you having this problem? Well, no worries. Here's the solution. And if you don't want to read any of this, here's also what this product does. Okay, do you have this as a feature or benefit that you're looking for? So after doing this, after solving a problem, I go straight into features and benefits. Okay, so I go into feature and benefit and then text or image. Feature, benefit, text or image. Feature, benefit, text or image. And again, I'm doing that on all of my product descriptions. Okay, so I also come down to I even have FAQs on my product descriptions. I have reviews and more. Okay, this is what your stuff should be looking like. You see, I have a sticky add to cart button up here. I mean, I have all the apps necessary that you need on your store. So this is what a decent high converting product page will be looking like. But now it's time for some apps. Now, I'm going to give you some of these apps, but I'm going to stop here for a second, and I want to open up the floor to a QA. and a I'm going to answer a couple questions. You guys can smash the like button down below to get your questions answered as well. And I'm also going to give you the first instructions on how to win a giveaway. 
So here is how you guys can win a giveaway today. Now, like I said, here's all the things that you guys are going to be getting on this giveaway. Look, I'm giving you a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with myself and my team to get on a Zoom call to overlook your store, overlook your ads, overlook your products, help you out with anything that you're currently struggling with. I'm also going to give you a 2023 success plan that's tailored around you. So after this call, you know exactly what steps that you need to be taking. And thirdly, some free Supreme Ecom merch. If you guys want to win this, here is the instructions down below. All right. Here is the instructions down below. You need to come to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. Now, this is my only Instagram. Okay, this is my only Instagram, so I don't have any other Instagram. So if you guys are following other people, make sure that you are only following the one that has a check. If it doesn't have a check, it's not me. You must follow my Instagram. Okay, come down to this video right here. I want you to like it. I want you to comment the word Wi-Fi bread. Come back in here and say the word done. And like I said, I'm giving out value all the time. All the time on my Instagram. I'm giving you free apps that you guys should be using. Products that can be going crazy and more. So I want to make sure you guys can get some extra help. So that's why I want to go ahead and give you this opportunity. And like I said, I'll be picking the winner of this as simple as this wherever my finger stops. Wherever my finger stops. Now, by the way, Omid, if you want to go ahead and apply for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, like I said, you guys can do it right here at supremeecom.com. Okay, if you want to get into the Discord group, you guys can also go ahead. I'll have Supreme Econ post that down below. But this is the free Discord channel, all right? You see, we don't try to do this. We actually do this. Boom, boom, boom. All day. All day. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and answer a couple quick questions real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and get into some apps. And then I'm going to go ahead and review, uh, review your guys' stores, all right? Will this be uploaded on my channel once this video reaches 200 likes, all right? Let's see. How can you make the product description horizontally like this? You literally go into Shopify, you go into online store, you go into templates, okay? You go to product pages and you just create a template for your store. Like you just create a template for that product page. Um, Vitals, yes, Vitals is one of the apps I'm gonna be showing you guys. Vitals is an app that I definitely recommend you guys using. It's basically like 25 apps in one. It will save you uh, a budget because you don't have to spend a lot of app money on a bunch of apps, but also it will keep the store speed a lot higher because you're not having a lot of things run in the background. I'm gonna have my team go ahead and post a vitals link down below that you guys can get a free trial and a percentage off with using them for your first month. I'm gonna have them post that down below. Where do you get your gifts or images? I get my gifts or images either from Pixels or I literally just go to Google and I'll type in backstretcher gif, okay? Non-copyrighted gif and that is something that I will use. All right, let's see what other questions you guys have real quick. Let me know if you guys have done this, okay? Go ahead and say done if you guys have already done the giveaway instructions. Again, I'll be picking out the giveaway winner here soon. All right. Uh, Toby, I always recommend two different budgets. All right. If you're going to start drop shipping and you want to get started successfully, I recommend two budgets. If you're going to work with somebody who's already doing what you want to do in this world, I recommend, uh, recommend a budget of 300 to 800. If you're going to do it yourself, you're going to have to have some disposable income for mistakes because you're not being guided to avoid the mistakes. So I do recommend a budget of at least 1500 uh, to $4,000. All right. Page fly or regular Shopify product page. I'd use a regular Shopify product page, Stojan. Um, let's see what other questions you guys have. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, David, like I said, to make the product page horizontally, okay? I'll show it to you guys real quick. It'll take only two seconds. Look at this, all right? So I create templates, all right? I create templates. So like if I want to come over here, let's go into Accent Eureka, and I want to go ahead and create a template for the store or for a product page, I'm sorry. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on Customize, all right? I'm going to come over here to Products. All right, and then this is where I can create a template or uh, create a template for my product. So, for example, let's go to the private beach mat or let's go to the beach mat. You guys can see with the beach mat, I had a template. Okay, the template is where I was able to customize what the lookout of it looks like. So, same way you're customizing the home page of your store is the same way that I'm able to customize this sections right here. Okay, I hope that helps. If that helps, go ahead and drop the number one. All right, that's how you're able to do the horizontal thing like that. What is your preferred way to scaling? Like I said, I've dropped other videos by Facebook ads. You guys can drop them out, uh, check them out in my videos or reach out to me if you need help, all right? 
Let's see what else you guys got for me. Uh, I might be gone for 10 to 15 minutes, and if I miss review the store, then please review my store once. Like I said, drop the link. I'll be reviewing it in a little bit. Margaret, you can uh, reach out to me. But uh, if you have questions about the Supreme University, okay, Margaret, you can go to supremeuniversity.com, and you guys can get more information about the $60 uh, university that I have. All right, about two more questions. We're going to go ahead and get back into the apps of it. Point of your pixel is to be able to track your ads and track the data on your store so you understand the, uh, what, what people are doing, okay? Okay, Dawson, what's the best product research app? I use Mania. I can get the Mania link drop down for 30% off. I'm, I want you guys to ask product, product image, or sorry, product page or home store or Shopify questions. All right. Best app for importing reviews is going to be Vitals. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you guys how I set up my apps. So one of the main apps I like having on my store is Vitals, like I said. All right, Vitals is going to be the main app that I recommend having on my store. It literally is like multiple apps in one. Let's go ahead and check it out. You guys want to go ahead and see it from the uh, app store. I literally only have like five apps on my store, probably max. Okay, Vitals Shopify App Store. All right, with Vitals, it's an all-in-one tool. It's $29.99 a month. I'm going to have the Vitals put the link down below for you guys to be able to get started. It's going to give you like 20% off your first month or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and post it down below. It also give you an extended free trial so you guys can check it out. But this is what Vitals looks like, all right? It's 40 apps in one. It gives replays and upsells and bundles and reviews and all the things that you guys are asking for. So this is how I, this is literally what I recommend. And when I have it set up, all right, this is a little bit of what Vitals will look like once you have it all set up. So you'll come in here and this is basically what you're going to go ahead and see. Let me go ahead and move this over a little bit. Let's move my screen down just a little bit. All right. So this is a little bit of what Vitals is going to look like. So once you get inside Vitals, this is a little bit of how I recommend it. You see how it says discover, my apps, all apps. I'll show you guys the apps that I personally have downloaded. So with my apps, the ones I have downloaded, I have Cart Reserve Timer, I have Size Chart, I have Visitor Replays, I have Product Reviews, Sticky Add to Cart, Currency Converters, and Dynamic Checkout Buttons, all right? So once these apps are installed, I want to show you guys a little bit of what they look like once they're working, all right? So let's go ahead and go into one of the product pages where you guys are going to see this working. So First thing you guys are going to see out the gate is I have a high converting currency converter. Okay, I have a currency converter established on my store. So if you guys do not have a currency converter on your store, you need one because you should be advertising towards the top five countries, United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. And nobody, including their mama, is ever going to sit there and try to do an equation of, all right, I see this in euros, but I live in America. Let me figure out what the equation is going to be. No one's going to do that. They will simply leave. I'm telling you right now. And if that makes sense for step one, and if you're going to get a currency converter on your store, if you don't have one, drop a number one for me because I swear, I see so many people, this little thing goes so far. This little thing goes so far. So please drop a number one if you're with me on that because you need to have a currency converter on your store. The next app that you're going to see is I have this thing uh, called, um, uh, basically called uh, Sticky Add to Cart, okay? Sticky Add to Cart is going to be great for you. Because this is what's going to allow you to take advantage of really having an increased customer experience. So let's go ahead and get into it. When I come to my store and you guys see sticky add to cart, you see once I get past this add to cart button, watch what shows up. Boom. Sticky add to cart. Only thing this is going to do is increase the customer's experience. All right. The next thing that I have on my store is upsells, okay? Ways to be able to upsell. There's two ways that I have upsell that I upsell with. I upsell with quantity break by discount and I upsell with frequently bought together. As you guys can see, I'm incentivizing people to buy more. Buy one, get this discount. But if you buy two, get this discount. But if you buy three, you're gonna get this discount. Always, always, always increase your AOV, okay? Look at this. This store that I'm that I was rocking with, let me go back to the let me go back to the um, analytics real quick. The average order value on this is forty eight dollars, right? I literally was selling a product that was thirty four ninety five. So that is going to give you an indication that your job, 
Okay, let me just let me just say this for you real quick. I have two things I want to say before I even jump into it. You're, you have two jobs as a marketer: drive high quality, cheap traffic to your store. That's step one. Your number two is to convert customers, and your number three is to increase your AOV as much as you possibly can and try to make as much money as you possibly can. Those are your three steps that you need to do. Get good quality traffic, convert on the traffic, and make extra money by converting and increasing your AOV. You always need to do that. And if you're with me and that makes sense, drop the number one. Okay? If you're with me and that makes sense, go ahead and drop the number one because that's just what your main job needs to be. All right? Now, as you guys can see, I also have frequently bought together. So you guys are going to see that I'm upselling other items that go with the main products that I'm selling. All right, now frequently asked questions. This is another great thing that you can add in vitals. This is great. Having questions at answered that may, maybe a lot of people have. We can keep it moving. Let's see what other things that I have. Visitors replays. Why do I have visitors replay added to it? Because then I can see what actions that people are actually taking on my store if they're not buying. You guys want to complain all the time and say, well, you know, people are coming to my store, but I don't know why they're leaving. This will tell you why they're leaving. You can go watch what, everything that they did from the second that they came to your store. Product reviews is going to be another big one. All right, you see that when I have uh, my store, I have reviews. And you see my reviews don't say, I like the product. And you see the reviews don't just have text. All of them have images. All of them are showcasing people using the product. All of them are highlighting the features and benefits of why other people would buy the product as well. Okay. That's another thing. So are you guys with me on that? Okay. So that's what I'm doing throughout my entire product description. Okay. That's what I'm doing within my entire product description. So I want you guys to be sitting here actually taking advantage of this. Now, if you want me to review your stores, I will do it. Okay. I will do it. Because I want to make sure you guys understand what we're covering, all right? Let me go ahead and clear out all this. Okay, we have a lot of things that we're going to be covering today. And I'm ready to go ahead and take action. So if you're with me, you're ready to take action. You're ready to jump into this. You want your store reviewed. Okay, go ahead and drop the number one right now. Okay, but your main job is just to take advantage of the seasons and trends that are happening. All right, let me see some of the questions that you guys have. By the way, I'm going to post these instructions one more time down below. If you guys want to win a giveaway, okay, if you guys want to win a giveaway, I'm going to go ahead and drop this down below. This giveaway instructions. Again, I'm going to post this. I'm going to give out the winner in about 10 minutes. Sorry, like 15 minutes. Here's the instructions. All you literally have to do is go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. You must follow me. Okay, scroll down to this video, like it, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, and come back in here and say the word done. And I'll be choosing the winner as like, uh, like this to give you guys an inside look of what my one-on-one -on -one mentorship looks like. All right? Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, Toby, you'll have to apply. There's different packages available based off of your experience and based off of your needs. So that's why we always recommend booking a discovery call. You guys can drop your store name down below. Okay, you guys can drop your store name down below and I'm going to go ahead and pull up some product pages. All right, as a marketer, your main job is to increase your AOV. Your AOV is your average order value. That is what your AOV is, your average order value. All right. Vitals app is not free. It's like $29.99, but I have a link being dropped down below. You guys can also see in the description after this. That's going to be able to allow you guys to be able to use uh, Vitals for absolutely free. Um, give a free trial and 30% off, all right? What questions you guys got for me? All right, we got a store, Smart the Chest, first one of the day. Let's go ahead and pull it up. We're going to go ahead and review your guys' stores for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the floor to a Q&A. You guys ready? So here's somebody's store. By the way, once you drop your store down below, do a dash next to it and tell me the product that you want me to look at. Because again, write this down. 95% of your traffic is going to come to the landing page of the product that you are selling. 
So if your product page is not hitting, then nobody's going to want to buy and come to your homepage anyway. So I'm going to open up your homepage, but I want to know, okay, what other what are the main products that you're selling? So I can actually give you a good inside look of what to do. So for example, we'll, t we'll pull this one up. I like how it's named. Um, like I said, it, it, the currency converter works, so I saw it just change in my currency. Um, I'd probably take this out. This is something that you can just put as a feature and benefits, taking up a little bit too much space. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with. All right, black, white, one other color. Images are very simple. I would probably add a couple more images to it. Like I said, take this piece out. You can keep this right here. Um, you don't really have anything that's increasing your AOV or any type of quantity discount with it. Um, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. By the way, you guys are seeing I'm looking at it on the mobile version because all of your traffic will be coming to the mobile version. All right, that changes. Does this change the price? Okay, it does. When I did go back to your product page, it's not changing the currency. So just so you know, your currency converter is not act uh, actively working the right way. Because if it was, then I want to sit here and have to guess what this price is going to be. Why people love our product, that's great and all, but I would never start my product description like this. I always start my product description with the problem that it's solving, and then I get into the features and benefits after that. So this isn't something I would necessarily start with, but you do have some good gifts and images. Font, I really don't like making the font black too much, but I mean, it, it doesn't look too bad. Font, well, I'm saying with the, back, uh, with the black background. Uh, customer reviews, you have five-star reviews. Nobody in the, in, in the world has five-star reviews. You want to make sure that not every review you have is five stars. You want to make sure that some might be four stars so it actually looks organic and looks real. Um, and you're probably, it works. Like That's not a good review. So uh, I definitely think those are some of the things that you guys can improve on. Let's go ahead and keep moving. I want to get, I'm going to open up another store. Okay, make sure to do dash your product so I can see the product, okay? So put your store name in it, put dash your product. All right, I see Perky's Mark in here. Salah, tell me what is the product that you're selling so I can open up the right one. And yes, if you guys need to be able to, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and get into Discord, uh, you guys can check it out here. This is how we don't try to do this, we actually do this. You see it. Useful Den. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull one up real quick. Master. So it's the Lunch Stacks Lunchbox. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull Useful Den up, and we're going to go ahead and review this product page. And while I review this, I want you guys as a family to say what you would change and what you would not change as a family. Okay, I'm going to open up this Lunchbox, okay, and I want you guys as a family to tell me, as well as everybody in here, what are some things that you would change as a family? Let's do it together. So you guys are actually understanding what he's saying, what we're doing. And if you guys are paying attention to what I'm saying, I'm going to give you a full review real quick. But before we do it, as a family, what would you change? Here's the banner. Here's the size of the logo. Here is the name of the product. And here is the selling price of the product. Let's go ahead and go through it together. What are some things that you guys would change? Okay, let's go ahead and open this up on mobile version. Let's go ahead and see. What are some things that, are, that is missing potentially? I could already give you a couple, but what are some things that are missing? I will review your stores, but as a family, I want you guys to be asking yourself, do you understand what could be improved and what should not be? All right, some of you guys are saying it needs reviews. I agree with you guys. The title, I think the title should be more simple as well. I think it should be lunch, uh, lunch stacks, all one word, insulated lunchbox. You know, there's a little bit too much, a little bit too much words on it. I think that this logo, I agree, okay? I think the dimensions on it, okay? You guys see how the dimensions might not be that good with the images. It should be taking up more of the screen itself. I think this is a bit too big of a logo if I'm going to be real with you. I think that your logo should also be black, white, and one separate color. If it's going to be yellow, then it needs to be yellow. But I wouldn't just make your logo black and white and then have yellow throughout your store. Okay? Theme is very dark. I agree with you guys. I also believe that no background on any product description should ever be anything besides white. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a sticky add to cart button. Are you guys seeing a sticky add to cart button? 
Okay, are you seeing sticky added cars show up? Are you seeing any type of upselling happening? All right. Now, these are some of the things that I would definitely, definitely, definitely change. All right, again, I'm only doing this so that you guys are more confident in knowing what to do as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up another one. Let's go ahead and open up another one. We have Galactic Dreams, okay? It's the Astronaut Galaxy Projector. We're going to do this as a family again. And by the way, I'm going to answer you guys' questions here in a second. All right, we're going to open up the floor into a Q&A. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button down below because if you're wanting this video to be posted after this, but also you want another opportunity winning another giveaway this Friday at 10 a.m. on my YouTube channel where I'm going to give another giveaway out from this live Q&A, get this video to 200 likes. Okay, Galactic Dreams didn't work. Okay, Galactic Dream. Let's see if that works. That one's not working for me, guys. Uh, whoever had that down below... Uh, I would try to go ahead and maybe send a different name in, all right? What are some other what are some other ones you guys got for me? Let me go ahead and see. Let me go ahead and see. We shop solutions, multi kitchen slicer slicer. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out real quick. We shop solutions dot com. We shop solutions. I kind of like that name. I like that name. We're going to come over here to the multi-kitchen right here. I'll give you guys another thing that I forgot to mention about the last product page and this product as well. Is just so you guys know, I will never sell products that are under $25 at all. Like literally at all. And that's like for TikTok products, I'm selling $25 to $45 products. Facebook product, I'm selling Facebook products, I'm selling like $30 products to like $150 products. So I'm not saying anything about that because, again, you chose the product. I'm going to go through your product page still, but I still would recommend doing a higher price on the products that you're selling. Well, let's do it as a family. Okay? Here's the banner. Here is the logo. All right? Here's the banner. Let me go back. Here's the banner. Here's the logo. Here's the selling price. Here's the compare price. All right, they have a variant for red. Here's the product details and more. Related products, what would you guys change? And then I'm going to give you my full rundown. What would you guys change? I want to hear from you, Joseph. I want to hear from you, Matt at GK. I want to hear from you, Bert K. I want to hear from you, Mass. I want to hear from you, Salah, because the people who are actually giving recommendations are the people who I'm going to review your stores from because I just want to make sure you guys are understanding it. What are the, some of the things that you guys would change? Lumos is saying you can name the product. I 100% agree. There's no reviews on the store. That 100% is another thing. Let's ask you guys this question real quick. Would you shop from this store? One from yes, two for no. Would you buy something from this store? One for yes, two for no. And I'm not doing this to hurt your feelings from the person who I am, who I am uh, reviewing the store from, but for you to be able to get the honest advice that you deserve. Because I wish somebody would have said this to me. One for yes, two for no. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go top down for you guys right now. First thing I would do is I would change the banner to the season and trend that's happening. Would I put a countdown timer on it? No, I would not. Would I name the product 100%? Would I have my store being black, white, and these random green colors? If the green is not inside my logo, no, I would not. Would I sell a product this cheap? No, I would not. Would I have the compare price and selling price right next to each other instead of up and down? 100% I would. Would I have this right here? Yeah, that's not bad. I like that, all right? Would I have this right here? Not bad. I like that. Showing your guarantee, okay? You have a variant, variant selection that's saying red. But why are you having a variant of red if your only variant that you sell is red? So this is just wasting space. If you don't have other variants besides the colors that you're selling, if you only have one color, don't make a variant as being red because that's the only variant they're going to be able to choose from. Buy now should not be there. I typically only really have add to cart. Product details, this is your, the most effort that you need to put in is right here because this product description is all words. I want you to write this down in your, in your notebook right now, and I want everybody to say it to me. Nobody wants to read a novel. Nobody wants to read a novel. So nobody and their mom is going to sit here and read all of this at all. I'll, I'll promise you that right now. 
Nobody's going to do that. If you don't have GIFs, images, different fonts, bold text, and ways to make the experience of the consumer as easy and simple as possible, they will leave. So yes, they will leave if they see all of this. Related products. These products don't even go with the main product you're selling. You're trying to sell me something that within the kitchen niche, but your but your frequently bought together products are something for gardening and something for pets. You need to be selling. You need to be having. Write this down. You guys see, I'm passionate. Write this down. You guys want to talk to me about what a general store should be looking like? I want all of you to drop. Write this down and drop the number one once you have wrote this down. Your number one objective is to run a general store with niche focused product pages. I'm gonna repeat this again. General store with niche focused product pages, which means when I come to your product page, you should be only upselling me, cross selling me, showing me other items that go with the main product that you're selling. If you're going to be selling a dog harness, I better see a dog leash and a dog collar. If you're going to be selling me a, a posture corrector, I better see an acupuncture mat and a back stretcher. If you're going to be selling me a seat cushion, I better be seeing a back cushion, right? Cross selling. Drop the number one. Drop the number one. General store with niche focused product pages. And as you guys can see, right, there's really no, like, there's really no reviews on here either. All right, I'm gonna pick one more store and then I'm gonna go ahead and get out the, give out the giveaway winner, all right? Like I said, guys, to win the giveaway today, I'm going to post instructions one more time in here for everyone in here. All right, I'm going to give out the giveaway winner. By the way, there is five spots left for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you have applied, all right, if you have went to supremeecom.com and you guys have applied for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, say I have applied in the uh, down below so I can review your application immediately after this and get you on a call so that you can get the help that you deserve, all right? So if you have applied, say, I have applied. I'm going to post that. I'm going to have Supreme Econ post the link down to apply. And I'm going to give you guys the last in, uh, giveaway instructions one more time. And like I said, if you don't win the giveaway right now, if this video does reach 200 likes, okay, I will be posting another giveaway this Friday from this call, from the people who are on here right now. All right. Go to my Instagram, go down this video, you like it, you comment the word Wi-Fi bread, you come back in here and say the word done. Again, you have to follow me, go to this video, like it, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, and come back in here and say the word done. I'll be choosing the winner in four minutes, okay? And it's going to be wherever my finger stops, wherever my finger stops. So I hope you guys take full advantage of it. All right? Let's get into one more story real quick. Let's do, Joseph, you've been pretty active right now, all right? You've been pretty active. Let's go ahead and get into your store real quick, all right? Usefully Modern, and he said it was the Luminova, okay? Luminova. Let me go ahead and try to find that product real quick. Luminova, Luminova. I'm just going to go ahead and type it in. Luminova. All right, Luminova Nightlight. Alrighty, so out the gate, okay, we're seeing your store is black, white, one separate color, free shipping for orders over $75, definitely not a bad way to do it, okay, I would say you having this like sell price as being red, um, this being green, and this being red again, and then this being brown, it is throwing it off a little bit, my boy, it is throwing it off, and it comes down to green down here, it definitely, and green down here, make it more simple, okay, I want it to be black, white, and, and this brown throughout the entire store, okay, Black, white, and brown throughout this entire store. I like how you name the product. I like how you have reviews on the product. Uh, this color right here should be brown, okay? You, I sh you should be giving a greater discount. So if it's $38.99, okay, then you know that it needs to be um, this times two. So $38.99, you want to go ahead and figure out what that is. It's going to be 39 times two, okay? You should have it at $77.99 as your compare price. All right, white wood takes me to white wood, and it's the same type of image. I love that. I want to see your variants all be congruent like this. If I click on a different variant, the only thing that's changing is the background. You do have a quantity break by discount. I like this, but I would customize this and make this either black or make it brown. This add to cart button, I wouldn't make it highlight like red, like green like that or red. I would always just make it a solid button, um, and I would just make it like green. Okay. This guaranteed save checkout, take this out because this is like 2016, 2019 dropshipping. 
your product description, you need to go ahead and really lay this out a lot better where it's not just all text, okay? But GIFs, images, I mean, this little box thing where I have to like click on different boxes to figure out what it does, I would just probably get rid of this whole product description. I, not saying the words, but the way it's laid out, I don't really like it. And honestly, it's very hard to read. You have to think like a consumer. If I'm outside right now and there's sunlight on my phone and I see white text with a very light background, it's gonna be hard for me to read. If I'm on the go and I can't read something, I'm driving and I can't see something, I'm going to leave. Okay, this whole thing right here, you go and get go ahead and get rid of it. This is a little bit better of what it should look like. Okay, this is a little bit better of what it should look like down here. This big video probably is not necessary. Um, this is a little bit better right here as well. Um, you have some reviews on here. Um, I would have a review section down below as well. All right. So this is some things that I would definitely recommend you guys doing and changing, and it will definitely help you out in the long term. You guys ready for this giveaway winner? By the way, if you guys smash that like button, like I said, get this video to 200 likes. Let's go ahead and figure out where we're at right now. All right, right now we are at 117 likes. So if you guys want this posted afterwards, you want to know, you want if you don't win a giveaway right now and you want the opportunity of doing it again, or you want it, you just got here and you didn't get to see the beginning, this is your opportunity, man. This is your opportunity. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. So what's going to happen is this is going to be wherever my finger stops. And by the way, if you guys applied, please tell me that you applied so I can reach out to you guys directly after this. Okay, I see Michelle, you said you applied. I see Nathan, you said you applied. I see Christine, you said you applied. So we're only going to have a couple more spots to open anyway. So yeah, just keep me updated, guys. All right. Wherever my finger stops. You ready? 10, 9, 8, Seven, you guys see what I'm doing. Six, there is just at random. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Who is this? Tada Bertullius. Okay, let me see if he follows me before we give out the winner. And congratulations to Das Bertilius. Congratulations on winning, my boy. Everybody here from the Supreme Econ family, make sure to say congratulations to him. We are family, so if you didn't win now, you still have the opportunity of winning this Friday. Really appreciate you guys taking advantage of that. Uh, make sure to say congratulations. If you guys need to get into my public Discord channel, you want to be around other like-minded individuals, you want to be around other people who are like-minded and going towards the same goals that you have, you know what I'm saying? This is a great opportunity for you guys, okay? We have so many different announcements and help that we provide. Uh, we have public channels as well as um, inside of our mentorship, inside of our other programs like the university. You guys see you guys get so much more. Um, so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is where you guys will be able to take advantage of if you guys want to talk about it after, afterwards. But congratulations to him, all right? Now, for everybody in here, I want to say I really appreciate you guys taking advantage of this with me. And I really hope that you guys understand that I'm only here to help. So if you really want the success that you deserve, invest in people who are doing exactly what you want to do in this world. And I want to see you guys all create your goals. So before we hop off of this, I want at least five of you guys to tell me what your goals are that you're going to have this July 2023 with your dropshipping store. My why, my why that I have is helping you guys all create financial freedom. My why is to continue to be the difference in the e-commerce uh, space and not just teach what I'm trying to do, but do what I'm trying to do so that I can actually be somebody that you guys are learning from that doesn't just try to do this, but actually does this. This is why we dropship every day at Supreme Ecom. This is why we run successful brands here at Supreme Ecom. This is why we see student success like this every single day at Supreme Ecom. So what is your guys' why? And, Ke and Ketis said 10K a month. We had TK with 400 euros, okay? We have Perky saying making 20 sales, 8K a month consistently from TMAC. Start your dropshipping journey and get 10K a month. Make my first 100 to 1,000. I like hearing this, okay? I like hearing this. And this is something I know that you guys can definitely do. So I'm going to hold each and every one of you guys accountable. Let's continue to keep being the difference. Smash that like button down below. Come and buy, uh, come on this video afterwards if you want to get the uh, opportunity of winning another giveaway. And let's keep creating this generational wealth.